the ability to persevere and the ability to keep moving forward um, at all costs is ultimately what we see from a recruiting standpoint as the key to success. So one thing that you just said, and with us, within our business, uh, a huge area for us right now is recruiting. And in that process of recruiting, I feel like we we talk to people and we we always want to know about their successes. But it sounds like what we really need to start. Tell start, us about your failures. Tell, tell us about the times in your life where you failed and the reasons why you failed. That to me is like, I don't know. Tell -tell. I don't know if people can articulate it. Unless you do. But it'll allow you to... Unless you share a failure story. Okay. And they're like, wow. Okay. Okay, wow, that's cool. This they won't be willing to let their that. guard down to tell you the real... When you fail at things, and especially if you fail repeatedly, there's a difference between failing and being a failure. True. Um, and, and I think that's what can happen, especially you know, as it pertains to sales and, and, and as it pertains to your professional life. Uh, but that ultimately will carry over into every part of your life. In that when you have failure upon failure, it's so easy to become this person that, like I, I I'm a failure because that's yeah. what I do is I'm failing, and and that's I think key is is getting yourself out of that because you're not a, you mm -hmm. are not a failure. You know everybody gets knocked down, everybody gets beat up, like whether it was physically in your situation <laughs> or whether it's emotionally, or just beat up in general by life, but it's what happens when you get knocked down that that ultimately matters and quite frankly when it comes to putting content out on social media like getting knocked down a few times here and there is good like it gives you the opportunity to be transparent it gives yeah. you the opportunity to talk about stuff that nobody else is willing to talk about like like i'm in a weird way lately i've been thinking like man i, I feel like there's something bad needs to happen in my life i'm like i don't want anything bad to happen in my life but i feel like if it did it would give me such a great opportunity to expose it and to like basically work through it on a public platform. Um, you know, I've, I've been extremely open about a lot of issues that I've dealt with and things that I've gone through. And sometimes every now and then we're like, man, is there anything else like in the closet that we can dig up? Yeah. <laughs> but there's really not. And, um, and so, you know, there's always going to be struggles in life and obstacles in life. Things are always going to happen. Uh, it's what, you know, it's what you do in reaction to that, that ultimately determines where you end up. A culture of fail to win, because I can live in that one. Oh, Everybody yeah. can live in that one. Mm. Man, I'm having trouble at home. Cool. What do you need help with? Mm. As opposed to, how's everything going? Oh, good. Really? Didn't your son just commit suicide? And didn't I read about that? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's okay. It's not affecting me. Oh, bullshit. So yeah. right. let's hear. Let's let's get the real skinny. Yeah. And most successful cultures that I've seen and. You know, so the SEAL culture, I think, is rather successful. It's based on loss and failure. Yeah. If you're still breathing, that your time's not up. Like, right. I mean, you've got plenty of time. I mean, the, the amount of stories you could hear about people that just started the, the, the extraordinary part of their life in year 30, in year 40, in year 50, in year 60, and, and on, um, that just because you failed, <laughs> even forever, doesn't mean that you can that you can make flip that switch and all of a sudden start excelling in whatever that may be and and but it's so much it's mental uh, so much to me.